Hey folks, it's Josh Kuryavsky. I'm now gonna continue talking about the early days of what I called story test driven development, which eventually became known as behavior driven development and acceptance test driven development. So after sort of starting to use this, this practice, um, I was really high on this, right? Are you talking early 2000s, 2003, four, five? We were using it everywhere with all kinds of clients. We'd sort of become blinded to it. Um, as a great new thing. And eventually I started to realize, you know what, there's a cost to doing this. There's a cost to maintaining these story tests, as I called them, these automated story tests. There's a cost to taking every single user story, whether it needs an automated story test or not, and applying the, the story test driven development process. Um, so we started to sort of eventually realize, wait a minute, we're overusing this. It's useful in a certain context and it's not always so useful. Sometimes we'll have a user story and all we need to do is test drive it, right? Low level micro tests driving the design of the code. Other times we really do need a failing acceptance test or a specification in BDD or what I called the story test back in the day. Um, sometimes it's applicable, sometimes it isn't. You really have to watch out for waste. If you're a lean practitioner, you're going to look for waste in your system all the time. And you're constantly reflecting, wait a minute, this thing that I love, this thing that I think I invented, maybe it has waste too. And look for that waste and remove it. That becomes a mature practice of BDD, ATDD, or as I called it, story test driven development. Thanks for watching.